So just eyes at the front, thank you class. So really good work on your problems. Um, I like that everyone is sticking to their roles in their group tasks and you're all coming together with your individual roles to create a really good team um, and working on these problems. So give yourselves a pat on the shoulder. So now we're going to be introducing some new knowledge to you. It's going to be a continuation of what we learned from last lesson. So last lesson we learned about similar shapes and scale factors. And to continue on from that, we're going to be looking at the relationship between areas of similar shapes. So if we have two similar shapes, we take a small square and then we take a square that is slightly larger. So the side length of one square is one centimetres. The area of that square will be one centimetre squared because area is side squared. And then we multiply that side length by a factor of two. That's our scale factor. That's not very clear. And then our area of the new shape will be two squared is four centimetres squared. So if our scale factor is two, our area is not increasing by this scale factor. So I might've gotten a couple of you with that in the quiz. So our area is increasing by a factor of four. So four is double two. So does that mean that the area scale factor is always increasing by the scale factor times two, or is there something else at play here? So we're just gonna do a quick little investigation into that. So we've done this problem here with the scale factor of two, and now we're gonna investigate further using a table and a scale factor of three, still looking at squares, similar squares. So now if we have a similar, sorry, a scale factor of three, I'm going to do up a little table and our table is going to have our side length of the square, which is in centimeters and our area in centimeters squared. So if our original side length is one, then we scale that by a scale factor of three times three is equal to three. And then if we scale that again by a scale factor of three. Three multiplied by three is nine. So what happens to our area? Our original area is that, like this square here, one centimeter square. But our area of our second square is going to be three centimeters times three centimeters, which is nine centimeters squared. So this is actually increasing by a factor of nine. Now, next time what happens? So now in our third similar figure, it's gonna be an area of side squared, nine multiplied by nine, which is equal to 81. And so that again gives us an increase of area by a factor of nine. So in this case, is our factor of increase in area, does that just double the scale factor? No, it's actually our scale factor squared. So as in this one, four, the, the factor of increase of area is our scale factor squared. And with the scale factor of three as well, nine is three squared. So it's very important to remember this. Our um, scale factor of area is our scale factor squared. Perfect. So it's really important that you guys remember that. Thank you.